HP makes a wide range of amazing laptops to suit basically everyone, but it can be difficult to know what the best HP laptop for your needs is going to be. This is where we've decided to step in. Our team of experts review multiple HP laptops, ranging from office-grade ultrabooks to powerful gaming laptops that can breeze through the latest AA titles. From here, we've assembled the list of the best HP offerings. One HP laptop isn't going to suit everyone, so we've been sure to include a wide range of laptops that people can get behind. This can range from an all-conquering gaming laptop to a more standard ultrabook for general day-to-day -day usage, and some slightly more affordable choices, too. So, in this video, I'll talk about the 5 best HP laptops. I put the links in description box down below. Check them out and please consider subscribing our channel. Let's get started with the video. Number 5. HP Victus 16 The HP Victus 16 should be a great option if it's more of an affordable gaming laptop that you're after. The white model we add in for review looked excellent, with a different color offering sitting it apart compared to more nondescript rivals from the likes of Lenovo and Dell. The all-plastic frame does lead to some rattle, however, and the build quality is perhaps a little middling. The port selection is okay, with a selection that involves USB and USB-C, as well as an SD card reader, Ethernet, and HDMI out. For networking, expect to find Wi-Fi 6 for some good speeds. The Victus 16's keyboard offers a snappy and quiet key press, which is better than the softer, mushier keys we've tested on other laptops Although there isn't any RGB lighting, and some of the keys are a little close together, its 16.1-inch display offers some extra width, which is nice to have, and the Full HD resolution provides reasonable detail, although its 58.8% RGB color space coverage is poor. At least the 1714 one contrast ratio means that colors at least have some depth to them, even if they can look a little bland. The competition from the likes of Dell, Lenovo, was also plagued with iffy displays, which is a case in point as to why spending more will get you more for gaming laptop displays especially. The components inside offer some good mid-range options with a Ryzen 7 5800H processor from AMD and an RTX 3060 GPU from Nvidia. The pair offered good pace when testing games, with frame rates in AA titles ranging from 68 if to 1000 A type. In addition, the processor on offer provided some excellent performance in our benchmarks, offering speedy results that means the Victus is capable of not only gaming but also other intense workloads, such as editing photos and videos. We found the battery life here to be decent for a gaming laptop, with a total 90 minutes of charge while gaming and 7 hours in our office work benchmark, which is impressive for such a powerful laptop. Number 4. HP Omen 16 if it's a powerful Hewlett Packard gaming laptop you're after, look no further than the HP Omen 16. The AMD combo of a Ryzen 7 5800H processor and a Radeon RX 6600M GPU provided solid performance at the laptop's native 1404 type resolution and even speedier FPS rates at 1000 A type. There's enough speed on offer pretty much any mainstream game. But it's worth noting the RX 6600 MGPU inside lags behind its NVIDIA counterpart, the RTX 3060, which is fitted to similarly priced laptops from Dell, for instance. On the front of the processor, the Ryzen 7 5800H offered some impressive performance in the benchmarks and powered this HP Omen 16 2021 with ease. In addition, 16GB RAM also offered good speed and the 512 GB SD is positively snappy. The display is on the larger side for a laptop, offering a 16.1-inch screen, complete with a QHD resolution, which is a boost compared to more conventional 15.6-inch 1008-type options. We found colors to be accurate and the contrast to be superb with a color eye meter in hand. Our reviewer found the design here to be stylish and discreet, with a matte black aluminium and plastic casing. In addition, the port selection here is handy, with three USB-CS, as well as a HDMI 2.1 out, mini display port, and an SD card reader, as well as Ethernet. Compared to other gaming laptops though, its outer casing is a little rattly, and the keyboard, while fine for mainstream gameplay, feels a little soft for our liking. Gaming laptops aren't going to be the best for battery life, and sure enough, the Omen 16 lasted for 94 entire minutes in our testing, that's about average compared to other gaming laptops. 
In a work test though, it mustered up six and three quarter hours, which is excellent for such a powerful machine. You may need to reach for a lead though to get through the last knockings of a working day, but for the most part, it's got some decent endurance. Number three, HB Pavilion 15. The HB Pavilion 15 offers a slightly larger screen than the Pavilion 14 and is a good middle ground for between more compact offerings and much larger panels. There's a 15.6-inch Full HD IPS panel on offer, which provides enough screen real estate for both day-to-day -day working and unwinding with the film on Netflix. In addition, we found the FHD resolution to be of major help in offering a good level of detail. And the fact this is an IPS panel also lent itself to offering up some great viewing angles. Inside, it packs in an AMD Ryzen 7 4700U processor, and while at this point it is a couple of generations old, we found it to produce some excellent results in both real-world use and benchmark testing, with scores that beat Windows Ultrabooks that are a fair bit more expensive than the Pavilion 15. 16 GB of RAM is more than enough headroom for working, while a 512 GB SSD provides a decent capacity for most people. We thought this laptop looked exceptionally modern too, with thin bezels around the screen, and while it is heavy at 1.75 inch, that's also reflective of how well built the Pavilion 15 is. In addition, the port selection involves a good selection of modern and legacy options, with everything from USB-C and USB to HDMI out and an SD card reader on offer. We found the keyboard to offer some smooth key action with a responsive key press, while the trackpad is almost MacBook-like in size and delivers accurate tracking and responsive buttons. The only downside to the Pavilion 15 is that its battery life is only just seven and a half hours as we measured during testing, which means you may need to do a bit of management to get it to last through a full working day. To be fair though, the figure we managed to get out of it closely matches the battery life that HP themselves quote. So, you get what you pay for. Number 2. HP Pavilion 14 It's a lot more stylish than other mid-range laptops we've tested, with a pink-tinted aluminum casing that we also thought was well-made. With this styling also comes an especially professional aesthetic whereas previous, brightly colored HP laptops signaled a much cheaper look. The port selection here is rather good, with a range of options including USB-A, USB-C, HDMI out, an SD card reader, and headphone slash mic combo jack. While the keyboard feels tactile with a good level of travel, the fact it isn't backlit though is fiddly if you're someone who works after dark. But at least the trackpad is large and offers similarly tactile buds to the keyboard. When it comes to the display, HP didn't spring any surprises, opting for a 14-inch IPS panel with a full HD resolution. In testing, this proved to offer some good colors and levels of detail that worked well for day-to-day -day tasks. Under the hood, the Pavilion 14 packs in an Intel Core if of 1135 G7 processor that powered it to some decent results in our benchmark test, beating off competition from the likes of Honor and Microsoft. The 8GB of DDR4 RAM on offer also proved enough for basic multitasking, and it was also possible to engage in some light gaming with the Pavilion 14's Intel Iris-E integrated graphics. The 256GB SSD on offer provides a decent amount of space for you to load on apps and documents, although may fill up quickly if you've got some sizable applications and programs you're using. It is quite a speedy drive, though. With 968.24 MB write and 2490.93 MB read speeds, it's got some decent endurance, with the Pavilion 14 lasting for 8 there's 18 minutes in our PC Mark 10 benchmark test, which means you'll be able to just get through a working day before needing to charge it back up again. It's worth noting though that this duration falls a little short against those similarly priced rivals from Honor and Microsoft that both lasted closer to 9 hours overall. Number 1. HP Envy 13 The HP Envy 13 is the best laptop for under $1,000 and one of the best 13-inch laptops on the market. While it still has a plastic touchpad, the Envy 13 is a fantastic value if you want the best laptop for less than four figures. What makes this such a great deal is its entirely aluminum design and the excellent 11th Gen Intel Core CPU. In our testing, we found that an NV13 with an Intel Core IF of 1135 G7 delivers fast performance for almost any task. This specific NV cost just $900 and can outmuscle laptops that cost well over $1,000. Moreover, the NV13 has a bright, vivid 13.3-inch display and a comfortable keyboard. 
There is very little we don't like about the Envy 13. If you can get over the lack of an IR camera, then it is the ultimate money-saving laptop. Hope you enjoyed the video. Now it's time to pick the best of the best. Check the links in description and subscribe our channel for videos like this. Have a good day.